Hello, Adrian. I have been keeping your workload relatively light in the recent past, so it's time for you to start earning your keep again. Down those bonbons and listen up. My medical duties have been rearing their ugly heads once again. Well, I guess I should say Kuna has been rearing his ugly head once again, as he's the one with a knack for getting into these messes. This time he's managed to come down with hypothermia. How one person can attract so much trouble is beyond me. And to make matters worse, he actually seems to enjoy it on some perverse level. No, not sexual gratification, although that batch of problems can't be far behind. No, I simply mean that he gets really excited and... Poor word choice, sorry. Uh, let's... let's just say that... He's led a very sheltered existence thus far, so anything that happens to him is like an interesting curiosity. He's like ugh, a baby chick, except one that talks a lot and likes to play the bagpipes. <laughs> Lovely image, that. Well, Kuna has been freaking out about being in this enclosed space ever since we found out we can't use the shell any longer. He's been relying on it to alleviate his claustrophobia. And then to add insult to injury, he has not been able to go outside since he, well, hurt his hand. So I, out of the goodness of my heart, spoke to Liz and convinced her to take him out with her just to get him outside the Heracles for a bit. I mean, I figured with her there to keep an eye on him, nothing much could happen. I mean, he's tethered to the ship, for Christ's sakes. I mean, what could go wrong? As it turns out, plenty. It seems that Bagpipe Boy couldn't get enough of the great outdoors and opened his helmet. Yes, I know. It's unbelievable. It's a friggin' vacuum out there. The the only reason that he survived at all is because of Liz's quick thinking. She managed to slap his helmet shut, drag his ass back into the airlock, all this before he could freeze solid. But now he has a litany of new problems, hence this message. I have given him a thiamine injection and I'm keeping him warm. He's unconscious but he's still stable. Well, I wanted to do a little more research before administering any other treatment. Seriously. I cannot believe the weird problems this guy gets himself into, Adrian. It's like he's testing me or something. The medical duties up here were supposed to be simple things, yet here I am dealing with severed limbs and frozen organs. See what you can dig up on hypothermia, won't you, dear? I mean, the onboard database is woefully lacking. Of course, it could be that there's just not any other treatment I could administer out here, in which case our cunning linguist is just screwed. Get to it.